So the Army's already cut Bradley A5, and it looks like you're scaling back on the Bradley A4 upgrades uh, in order to um, use that money, to funnel that money into next generation combat vehicle, which is one of the Army's uh, top modernization priorities, number two priority. Um, what are the pros and cons for having to do that, and how are you sort of making up for that, um, not having those upgrades? Well, the, the, the Army's may actually have taken a really good, conscientious approach to be what's the sweet spot of building for the future, but at the same time having your current force get as much upgradeability as possible if we go to war today or tomorrow. So the improvements that we're making in the Bradley are more of keeping the Bradley in the formation to fight the current fight in the current you know, ABCT or Armored Brigade Combat Team fight that we have and be able to support the near-term fight. What the Army wants to make sure they do is they don't put so much investment in some of those near terms that it takes away from the future capabilities that we want to be able to take, take advantage of for the option man fighting vehicle that we're going after. And so it's not probably an all or nothing thing. I think we'll learn over time, did we get it right for the number of upgrades that we've made or do we have to put a little bit more investment in it? Or did we do the right decision and then we made the right investments for the future technology? But I think we did make the right call for that and I think we're gonna find out that we're gonna have great current capability in the long-term fight. We're gonna have a, a much better capability with next-gen combat vehicle. And how are you tra transitioning in terms of you know, what is the Bradley not going to get through the A5 upgrade that potentially could still see a role to play in the next-gen combat vehicle? Well, some of the things that it won't see on the lethality side will actually still get. It may not be on the Bradley, but it's going to be on the third-gen FLIR or other type of technologies. will still go towards the option man fighting vehicle. Some of the things we actually may learn on this new vehicle that we're developing, we may find out that there's stuff that makes sense to cut in with the current force if the Army wanted to invest that way. But we're just going to be careful about that. But I think that the upgrades that we're making are prudent to keep it relevant in the current fight and the investments for the future are going to be there.